Installing Fruit Switch. Since uh, April 14, now you need a personal access token to download the, uh, the Fruit Switch repository. So authentication is required. To get an account and a personal access token, you have to go to the SignalWare website and create a user. Uh, I have already created a user, right? And get a personal token. Let's see how, how, you, how you do this. Now let me revoke this one. I can do it this. Let's go to the signal wire in the, in the beginning. Okay, signal wire. Okay, let's start from scratch. Signalwire.com. Do a sign up and create a user for you. Once you once you have created, you can do a login. And in the login, you go to the profile, and in the profile, you have personal access tokens. Uh, just generate a new token. Put a token name here, like let's call free switch course and generate token. So copy the token, and now here do a token equals. I have already done uh, once the the token, right? I I'm just reinstalling because the first installation I have some issues. So that's why we have the, the installation here. Now you can go to the instructions and in the instructions is start. apt-get install LS, lsb release. So let's go to here and install it. Okay, let's continue our installation. So we have here the, the line. I have made a few adjustments. So, okay, so let's, now, let, now let's get this wget line. There's a long line to get the, the keys. In here, let me do a clear and apply the line. So you have the 401 and authorize it, normal. It's basic authentication. Now it sends the personal access token and it gets the repo.gpg. So now let's go to the next line. Let's see if we don't, we are not going to find anything strange. Good. The other one. Uh, we are just preparing the repository to install for a switch using packages. Echo. The next one. Good. And uh, you may want to populate free switch from here. Okay, now apt-get. Now we are going to update uh, and we are going to install the free switch metal. This code equals something that is not necessary here. So apt-get, that's it. So it's now installing free switch. It will take some time. We'll be back in a minute to complete the installation. Uh, we have now finished the installation and if the installation is correct, we will be able to start. So let's check the installation using the FS CLI. So FS CLI. Uh, we are still not uh, capable to to get in the system, so let's start system CTL start for a switch. Great FS CLI. Here we go. Now we have free switch installed. So FS CLI gets to the console of free switch slash quit exit, and you can start, stop, and he start. Uh, open sit uh, free switch stop restart we can also we can also check free switch using system CTL status free switch I think free switch is ready to run, so it's enabled. So whenever you restart, 
it will run these are the main instructions to run everything is just perfect and free switch is installed so this ends our installation video for free switch thank you